Hey there. What I have here is what I've been working on for the past little while. I'm about to rip it apart because it doesn't work, but it has given me some ideas. It is a continuation of my theory that I talked about in my other videos, where I talked about the moment of magnetism or the central point of magnetism. So what I did was, instead of having a complete stator here, and having to get stuck at the, say, the 75% point, what I did was I moved the sticking point upwards with all these magnets transferring metal through this um, flux through the metal that I got here. So what I have now is, let's get it right to the starting spot. Something that goes, well, there's 25 spots there. It goes 24, so that's around 95% or so rotation. Now it's going back here because it's creating its own 75% zone within this localized uh, stator. Where I went wrong on this one is the metal I used is 3 sixteenths, and I think I should have gone with 1 eighth. So I'm not getting much torque at all. Like This is probably the weakest thing I've built yet. It is moving that 20 pound wheel down there that I got it off an exercise bike, like I keep saying, but it's handy. It's, it's something that's not like a CD, not light. So it does have a little strength to it. Now, my idea was if I could get to go all the way around to here, but have torque, then I could use a figure eight system and have a go around here and have two rotors and then hook them together with a uh, belt right off the wheel and uh, basically I'd have an infinity symbol where one wheel would be pulling the other wheel. I just have to make the other one go in attraction. This one is in repulsion. And I just modified this piece from the last video by putting it on a 35 degree angle instead of going 90. Seem to be getting a little bit more uh, transference of the, of the flux. So I was just, I'm about to rip this apart and try a couple different other configurations, but I just want to let people see where, you know, where I'm going, what I'm at, what I'm doing. I pretty much used up all my neodymium rare earth magnets on this configuration, which makes it not feasible. But uh, like I said, if I had the full thing in rotation, it'd be awesome. But I don't, so it isn't. I need the figure eight or just a, a loop where it goes this way and then goes around the other way here. So I, I could have two. And that way they can both work in uh, repulsion or attraction. Using a figure eight shape, I call this the question mark or candy cane configuration. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Um, talk to you later.